Okay, so this is a short tutorial about how I post-process this scene from my next short film project in DaVinci Resolve. So this is basically what the Blender scene looked like. I probably will make a separate tutorial about how I created this one in Blender. So um, this was all exported as a EXR sequence. These are my settings here. So let's just drag this image sequence into DaVinci Resolve. So let's start by going into the Fusion tab. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make sure that the Gamma Preview is correctly displayed in the Fusion tab. I uploaded a free LUT on Gumroad that converts EXR renders back to Rec 709 um, with the Filmic Blender color space in mind. This is part of a full paid um, LUT pack that converts EXR renders to a finished film look. Links to the free and the paid versions are in the descriptions. So if you install the LUT into DaVinci Resolve, just go up here to this arrow beside this box and select the EXR to Rec 709 LUT. So now the footage looks like it's supposed to. So the first thing I wanted to do is add these light beams that are coming down from this object. So let's hit shift spacebar and search for the ray effect. So now we want the rays to aim straight down so we're just gonna select the uh, center and move it up on the y-axis to change the direction. So now we can fiddle around with these settings here and change the look of them. You can use the threshold to control how many objects are going to emit light rays. The decay will change how far the light rays are going to shine and I'm going to use the weight to change the brightness. Now we can see that the effect also affects the lamp at the beginning way too strong so we can manually keyframe the brightness of the light rays to make the light rays only appear as soon as we pan away from the lamp. So let's add a keyframe to the weight around here and scroll back to the lamp and decrease the strength. So the next thing we have to do is to keyframe the direction of the rays because as soon as the camera is looking up the direction of the rays isn't changing with the blender scene. So add a keyframe to the center and scroll through the timeline and add keyframes to change the direction of the rays according to what it should look like. So the rest of it is basically my standard procedure. I also showed in my other tutorial um, how to add realism to your renders. So watch this if you want a more detailed explanation of the process. So I'm going to add a chromatic aberration effect, control the strength, add a lens texture on top of it and convert it to a linear color space with the color space transform effect. Set the input gamma to sRGB and the output to linear. I'm going to use the Lumic here again with a blur node to make the lens dirt only appear around the bright parts of the image. I'm also going to add this footage of flying dust particles on top of it. You can just copy and paste the color space transform effect onto this one. Set the apply mode and the merge node to screen and make the blend very subtle because the dust won't be moving with the camera correctly and is just there for a little bit of atmosphere. So at the end I'm going to add a film grain effect on top of everything. Then I go to the color page and apply this EXR to film print look from my full LUT pack. You could also use just the free version of the EXR LED to use that as a starting point for your grading. But I really like the realistic colors that the film print emulation gives you. Bring down the gain to retain some highlights. Add another node, create a window mask and use it as a vignette to darken everything except the center of the image. And also add a radial blur on the vignette to add the surreal quality to the edges of the image. And this was the whole post process for this shot.